Hello again. Uh, welcome to another G1 Transformers review. This is the last of the Dinobots. And this one is Snarl. Now, as you can see, he's modelled on a Stegosaurus. I'll turn him sideways so you can see a bit more detail of him side on. He's very heavy for his size because um, he's got a large die cast part, which is his main body. It does give him quite a bit of weight. And this one is very, very chrome heavy. Um, if you're going to get one, and it's a, an original, you'd have to be very careful that he hasn't got a lot of chrome wear. Because I don't think there's a, a part of him that hasn't actually got chrome on it. Um, obviously you've got the tail, all the spines all the way over. Both the legs have got chrome on. And this chrome is all gold chrome, I believe. Um, it's hard to tell even for myself in this light because it is only just slightly tinged gold um, but it is very chrome heavy and a lot of sticker details as well which you'd have to be careful of if you're going to pick one up second hand this is my original one from when I was a kid so it's unfortunate I kept him in good nick um, he came with again normal G1 box again as I said before although they show the weapons are silver, the actual weapon itself is a red plastic sword and um, it came with his own blaster and rocket launcher and unusually for this figure, and it's the only one out of all of them his rockets on, for this particular figure are black whereas all the others have had chromed weapons now whether that's particular to my one or that is all of them I like that, I'm not sure, I'd have to research that but uh, they are completely all original and that's as he came originally to me um, one thing that I will know, although that looks like a handheld blaster uh, rocket launcher sorry in this version he's the same as slag in that it can fit into a hole on the leg so he can have it as a shoulder mounted weapon or as a hip uh, weapon in dinosaur mode now I'll begin to transform him um, actually one of these little features is just going off there on its own um, the best sort of way to do it I think is to start with his front end now to start with he has no mouth as such for biting like the rest of the dinobots do and his actual head splits down the middle and swings out. This is allows this front section it pulls forward and separates and it swings completely round. And then these chromed legs you lift them up, swing them, it's difficult to show you let's have a look. see I get it around that way. Pull it round like that and they clip in and they go into the recess where the sticker is on the other side and you bring that one around and again it just clips into position now you turn that whole section around and then you just pull the leg sections out so that it splits the legs open and creates a separate leg for each side now with his back legs, as you can see these they've got a habit of coming unclipped that's as they are in dinosaur mode and they swing up and round and the fist is sprung loaded and you just swing that round and the other one's already done it on its own they are a bit prone to that and on my one this is just slightly loose which is probably again age related to the age of the figure now the last bits to do are to split his tail section and that as you can see easily separates pop him down like that and lift his stegosaurus spines up and over they're hinged and just flip his head up and then fold that in behind and that's basically snarl his legs do have a tendency to try and go back in together could just do being a little bit tighter and again he can hold his weapons his sword and his blaster 
in these hands. And as I said before, you can have the shoulder mounted rocket launcher go on there and you can obviously put the rockets in if they're sprung loaded so that you can fire them. They do still work. Um, as with all of the other Dinobots, as I've shown you on the other vid videos, they've all got a compartment in the front there which would have been the diaclone uh, cockpit for the little figure. Um, quite a lot of sticker applications, nice sort of got logo on the front. Um, as I say, with this figure you've got to be very careful with chromeware. I'm very fortunate in the fact that I obviously didn't either play with him too much or I was very careful and that he's virtually got none at all that I can actually see. Um, very good figure and obviously completes a set of the Dinobots. Not a great deal of poseability, he does bend at the knee and obviously his arms come up and down but they don't bend at the elbow or anything like that. Um, it's the usual sort of G1 brick. I'll bring them in a little bit so you can see a little bit of detail. He's got a nice uh, face moulding and paint detail in that. Again the wrong colour eyes, I mean, he's got red eyes, I mean, it should really be blue from the cartoon or they should have done the right colour from the toy line, whichever way around you want to look at it. Um, but a very nice figure and again completes the Dinobot lineup. Um, again, I'd recommend the Dinobots, they're a brilliant set of figures and would complement anybody's display. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review and I hope this one's actually worked because the sludge one it broke up in filming. Um, and I'll see you again for another review. If there, again, if there's any particular toys along the G1 line that you're after seeing a review of, if I haven't already done it, please sort of drop me a line. And if I've got that figure, I'll do a review for you. Okay, all the best, and I'll see you again.